haven't really bothered these hives a whole lot this summer. I've kind of let them maintain themselves, and if they weren't able to, then that was fine. It gets rid of the weaker colonies that way. And this is one of them that I got as a swarm early last spring. It overwintered really well, and I believe it's built up pretty well. This is the first time I've checked it really in a while, so. That's what we like to see. So I haven't fed this colony. I haven't yet treated for mites. Look at this. Look at all of that capped honey. Now you can't tell me that it didn't do me good to take this group of hives I have right here and not do anything with them. Let the weak ones fall and let the strong ones climb. And this is one of the strong ones. And look how much it's climbed. From looking down in here, every single one of these at the top of these frames is capped with honey. I can't tell if the full frame is. Okay, we got brood on about 25%, maybe a third of it. About a third, probably. On this side, got a little bit more brood. The bees are very relaxed. They're not bothered by me or my presence. I'm taking my time to work the colony. I do got a few eyeballs peeking up between the frames watching my every move. This one's got a lot of open nectar on it. Okay, folks, I decided to come back up today, the day after the inspection yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and add my Mud Away Quick Strips, and I swapped out a few of the full frames, deep frames of honey. Uh, I left all the ones with brood here, and now I'm going to go ahead and smoke the top, lay on the Quick Strips. These are some old strips left from last year. They're not quite as strong as what they are originally, but they will work. Should wear gloves, yes I know. Okay, we'll bring these back towards the center. <coughs> and there's a feeder so I can start feeding replace the honey I just took. 
I'll probably start that procedure tomorrow. And since I've already taken honey, I'm not going to put an excluder on. I'm going to let the bees keep whatever they make. A little bit of ventilation here at the top. And we'll throw the lid back. So there you have it folks. It was pretty simple this year with these hives. I hardly did anything with them. Um, we didn't really have much of a darth though. Uh, the rain was pretty continuous all the way up to almost the end of July for us here in central Ohio. Um, actually the rainfall was up quite a bit from average so that helped with the bloom cycle throughout the summer and uh, obviously helped with the nectar sources for the hives um, like I said I didn't really do much as far as treating or, or really much as management um, in this little yard here that I've got um, my decision was let them manage themselves let the weak ones fall let the st stronger ones thrive and uh, you know I had five hives here and I'm down to two so I lost three weak ones but if the other one that I have up here in this little yard is just as strong as this one which I'm getting ready to check next then I did something I've done something now I can use this colony and the other colony to raise queens for everything else I've got up here at the farm so that works out wonderfully and hopefully you know, with the genetics there, I realize the rainfall and the nectar flow still has to be there, but wonderful things can happen. So, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching JC's Beast.